We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. As Dallas's offense comes out here, Charles, we got to talk about their Week 2 victory over Atlanta. That's one of the greatest comebacks we've seen in some time. The Falcons led 20 to nothing at one point, held the lead all the way through, but then the wild finish, Greg Zerline able to create a spinning onside kick that was recovered, and then for good measure, he banged through a 46-yard field goal as time expired. What a wild, wild ball game and a lot of game ball to be given out in this one because Zerline has to get one for the game-winning kick Mike McCarthy his first win as the Dallas head coach but I thought Dak Prescott was incredible in this game three rushing touchdowns in addition to throwing for a bunch of yards as well that was a huge win for Dallas Atlanta helped them in a big way down the stretch but give the Cowboys credit for hanging tough how about next week though buddy they go to Seattle what is that going to be? And then they're home for three straight games. Cleveland, the Giants, and Arizona. Imagine if they beat Seattle in Seattle and create that momentum before coming home. They could get on a roll. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Prescott from the gun. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And now we see Washington's offense come back out to set up shop. And, and this Washington football team, one and one after two games. They had the surprise victory somewhat week one over Philadelphia, but came back to earth a bit in week two, falling to Arizona 30 to 15. Still some work to do, Charles, maybe offensively, because Dwayne Haskins, not a lot of time in the pocket. He was sacked four times by Arizona. Yeah, his numbers weren't bad when you looked at him at the end, but I think you're spot on because the pressure was there early. They really struggled in the first half. They've got to find a way to keep some people off of him and give him a chance to put it downfield. And also, this team, we know they're going to have to win it with defense. Remember, that defense had eight sacks against Philadelphia in the season opener. But trying to corral Kyler Murray is a whole different deal, and they weren't able to do so. Another road game next week at Cleveland, and then they have a tough matchup in week four when they host Baltimore. Not that going to Cleveland will be a piece of cake. Second down, here's Haskins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And the catch made by Dontrell Inman. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. 
And his throw's going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, but it'll be second down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The give is to Elliott. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A first down carry by Elliott. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Elliott. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0.
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Or now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. second and ten. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Second and ten now. Haskins. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. We may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Out of the shotgun. Haskins. And he finds McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. Open man here, Sims complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. They'll run the draw with Barber. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A gain of five brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, it's Haskins. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Intercepted. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 34. 34-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. A second down throw for Prescott. That's complete. It's Bell. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 34-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. On first down. 
It's Elliott, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They've got second and 12 from the 36. Push him back. Push him back. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? Big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's you create it with a play like that. And you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Steven Sims now on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And this will go for five up to the 33. Kissick, the Washington ball. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. On the handoff, this is Barber. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Peyton Barber, the Washington. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Third down, here's Haskins. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 
And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. It's now fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Washington, nothing. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. Well, Carter, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. Give him seven on the play, and it's a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Pass on target, Prescott to Cooper. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. That's good. A big play here for the Cowboys. 41 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Four yards. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down, it's Elliott. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead will grow 
it's now 17-0. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Yeah, for the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Dontrell Inman, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Haskins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Washington. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. The throw by Haskins complete to McLaurin. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. It's a gain of 35. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Barber. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play. The same. And he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And Washington able to close the gap just a bit. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. And it's 17-7. Makes the score Cowboys 17, Washington 7.
Dustin. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This is Tony Pollard. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. Tony Pollard. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Ryan Kerrigan in on the tackle. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. C.D. Lamb was my favorite receiver in this year's draft, and it's still hard for me to believe that he lasted till the 17th pick of the first round. No one took him before that, and Dallas, surprisingly, Finds him available, takes him, and you see why. Great hands, great route running. This guy is Mr. Excitement. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Brings up second and a yard at the 44-yard line. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll run on first down. Elliott. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. After the penalty, it's Allian. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. So now they operate back from their side of the field here. Second and long. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. So that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Prescott from the gun on third. That one completes, Allian. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Washington ready to try again on offense. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. 
Haskins looking to throw on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You know, CD, you know, taking a step back. We're two weeks into the season, and you already kind of get the sense the teams are beginning to separate themselves. If you, if you look at the 2-0 teams, and remember, 62% of 2-0 teams ultimately make the playoffs. But Baltimore, Kansas City, Green Bay, Seattle, just to name a few, they look really good. They certainly do, and in a lot of ways, those are the teams that we expected to be 2-0 at this part of the season. I mean, it's no major surprise. But how about Arizona being 2-0 as well? People talked about them getting better in the offseason. I don't know how many of us thought they'd beat San Francisco in the opener. They did. Then they jumped on Washington this week, and they are 2-0 as well. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we know the not good news about teams that start 0-2. The Giants and the Jets both there, Detroit, Cincinnati. So, again, maybe some more predictable names. Certainly, they are predictable. Again, not a surprise for most of them, although many thought Detroit would be improved at this point. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Tressway now, standing right on his own five-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They've had a very solid first half. And as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half, how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here of this first half. To throw again on second down, Prescott. Can't get away, and he's taken down. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And Thomas, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw again, Haskins. The throw taken in by Sims. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's so we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And this carries into the end zone, and Sim says let's bring it out to the 25. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeve. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Here's McKissick. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Good. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Haskins. He's able to find Edmund. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Dontrell Edmond, 53 yards. And Washington able to make this a close game again. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Dustin Hopkins. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Now Pollard. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that's going to be intercepted. Landed Collins, the Pro Bowl safety. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. At the 31-yard line. Now after the turnover, here's Haskins. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. First that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. 
Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On second and 12, Haskins and Thomas has it. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Haskins on third down. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will tie things at 17-all. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Seventeen, seventeen, the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. He was brought down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They go to Elliott again. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And that is incomplete. In today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today his first punt 45 yards this looks good as well a 40 yard punt one yard on the return and a Washington offense heading out and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy 
it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack. And the pressure gets to him again. Jalen Smith, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting straight. Strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And this is going to be incomplete. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they have the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you've evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. The Cowboys take over first. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A first down throw for Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 22. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now second and nine from the 10. Prescott from the gun. This will be caught at about the six. Prescott. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. 
Short yardage, Prescott. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. 21-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. A good drive gets them inside the 5, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Make sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and force the field goal attempt that went through. Field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. And the Washington offense going back to work. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. Three yards the game there, second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Haskins to throw it toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And that will be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here's Tressway now as he's on for the fifth time here today. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Not Nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Doesn't look to be any confusion here as they come up now on a second and six following the delay of game. Again, it's Elliott. 
A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. And that'll set them back five. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and seven. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He loses four, and it brings up four. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now that one came close to hitting the big scoreboard up there as the fair catch is made inside the 20-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Haskins. Fighting through pressure. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Haskins. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Nine yards. Not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Washington on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Barber. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size. This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. 
Second and ten now. Haskins. That one is slant to McLaurin. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Recovered by the Cowboys. On first down. It's Elliott, and he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. First down, Prescott. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. It's second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. Third down here. Kendall, that was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man, right side is his running back. It's complete downfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Could just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A give to Elliott. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Ball at the 9 on second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott, and he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. The tackle. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Prescott on third and two. The quick slant caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And it's up and good. The score, Cowboys 27, Washington 17. Touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Here's Sims to return. 
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Haskins in the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. First this possession down, means Washington. so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Haskins to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three at the 34-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. good on second down but now they're backed up five yards by the false start and it's second and eight Haskins back to the air middle of the field he's got McLaurin Haskins. it's a gain of seven and that'll make it third and one one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On first down, it's Haskins. Incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw again, Haskins. He's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. Well, no takes to start out a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. A tough spot for Haskins in Washington here, third and long after that last sack. Here's Haskins out of the gun. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Haskins. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Elliott, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. Let's go, let's go. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. Let's go, let's win it. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Check, check, check. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Prescott. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Behind the line of scrimmage. comes the Cowboys punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So here's Haskins in the Washington offense. Down by 10, a minute 39 to go. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first, first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. Well, they'd be lucky to have that one back. Third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here we go with Haskins. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now it's Haskins. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Haskins to throw. 
Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Haskins. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Complete to Steven Sims. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.